Hello guys, what's up? Ricky Bruce Racing here, and welcome to my review of Project Cars 2. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this game. I've been playing it non-stop. Played the first game a lot on PlayStation 4, and back then I didn't own a proper wheel, so I used the PlayStation 4 pad. Uh, and yeah, that was basically the game that brought me into sim racing in general, so uh, yeah, this game means a lot, I guess. <laughs> Uh, this time around I'm on PC with a wheel, have not tried it, with, uh, tried it with a controller, neither will I because, yeah, reasons. Uh, but Project Cars 1 was released roughly two and a half years ago and it was a huge success with just over 2 million sold copies. Uh, and I was on the hype train long before it was released, just like I was for this game. The major difference here is that Project Cars 2 actually delivers what it promised to deliver. Which Project Cars 1 never really did, and that was the main problem people had with Project Cars 1, at least in my understanding it is. Uh, but now Project Cars 2 have been released and I was on the hype train for this game as well. It has over 180 licensed cars, they double the track count from 30 to 60 different locations with 130 different layouts. Uh, but yeah, going back to the cars, I love driving the GT3 cars and Project Cars 2 definitely delivered the GT3 cars. It has 21 different GT3 cars, which is just amazing. Almost every GT3 car out there is included in the game. So now on to the most important aspect of every racing game, the handling and the physics. And this is where I was the most surprised. The handling is really good. It doesn't feel as maybe as crisp as a set of Corsa or iRacing, but it feels real and it feels very realistic. The way cars lose the rear end, it's very predictable, and the feedback coming through the wheel is just amazing in this game. Um, worth mentioning is that some cars definitely feel better than others, but overall they feel great. Face setups, very understeery, easily fixed with another setup, or just speak to be, with your mechanic and he'll fix it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you actually feel the tires connected to the road, unlike last game, where it felt like the car was floating on the track. So now let's move on to the second most important thing with a racing game. Maybe not the second most important, but it's important, and that's force feedback. Massive improvement since the last game, and the more I play it, the more I like it. There are different settings for the force feedback. I've tweaked around a lot, but the raw setting was the setting that I felt was the best, at least for my setup, my wheel. Um, but you can really feel when driving a high downforce car how the downforce pushes the car to the ground, um, how it gets heavier when you're turning, and how you, when you put load on the front wheels, you can really feel it coming through the wheel. And overall, I'd say it's the best force feedback right now. Sure, there are some things I think is better in other simulators, like the feedback coming through the wheel when you lock. The, uh, lock up the front tires on the braking, for example, is better in eye racing in my opinion, but the overall feedback is, is just awesome. The variation of cars is just overwhelming, to say the least. From F1 McLaren GT1 long tail from 97 to uh, 2016 Honda Civic, the, it's definitely something for everyone here. Uh, and the cars feel very different from each other. It feels like they actually spend time with each and every car. Maybe not every car, some cars feel better than others. The amount of racing you get from buying this game is just incredible. I think they are 28 different series to run in. I found my favorite car track combo. Coastal Highway with the Caterham. If you haven't tried it and own Project Cars, do. It's a hell of a lot of fun. Let's leave it at that. sounds. Might be the best in the business. The Jaguar F-Type here sounds just like in real life. <laughs> 
which is false to the wall, loud, obnoxious, fuck you. I just love the way this thing sounds. So many cars that sound amazing, they sound realistic. No big surprise here, car sounds in Project Cars 1 were amazing as well. Uh, problem here is the rest of the sounds. The crash sounds are pretty awful, the tire squeaking noises pretty awful. And why, for the love of God, did they change the voice of the spotter? Maybe a personal thing, but I just don't like his voice. Don't know what it is. I think it's Ben Collins who does the voiceover, but yeah, whatever. Even though the tracks visually doesn't look as stunning as maybe Forza Motorsport 7, they offer an amazing amount of detail, and with the 20 of the 60 tracks laser scan, they feel very real and natural and accurate. Long Beach here is just amazing. It's a great track to, do, to drive on. And I did an unbelievable job with it. Spent some time there this summer and it looks just like real life. I even recognized the cafes and the amazing Hooters restaurant by the fountain, which is quite impressive. Got me thinking how cool it would be if they would actually finish Long Beach in IRC, since it is a pretty awesome track. But the track roster is just unmatched in any game, with mean, about every track you can think of is here. They are one in particular that I miss, and that's secret, but I might get that in a DLC later, who knows. For a guy that spends most of his time in iRacing, it's natural to be stunned by the graphics in Project Cars 2, and I am. The graphics are gorgeous. Just love setting up a race in the middle of the day going into the sunset and then later into the night the immersion is unreal. One more thing, the menus and the way you set up races and all the hard work they put in there, well worth it. The damage model can sometimes be really good and it can be really bad. But I love the way the parts go flying off the cars, looks like yeah, real cartridge, I guess, but on the other side you can hit the wall in like 200 miles per hour and barely nothing happens. Broken windshields are kind of annoying to be honest, since I know this is a road car which actually has a glass laminated windshield, but the race cars use plastic windscreens and you would get cracks in them too, so not a big fan of that. Multiplayer is actually fantastic, at least on PC. I've done over 10 races and the netcode is flawless from what I've seen. I've seen some clips on YouTube where crazy stuff happens, but it hasn't happened to me on PC. And the driver's standard have been really good in the races I've experienced. Maybe that has a lot to do with the new safety rating system which rates how safe you drive, obviously. <laughs> uh, it's a lot like iRacing's safety rating, even though it's maybe not as advanced, but it still works really good. You also have a new skill rating system, which rates your skill, which is basically i rating in Project Cars 2, which works a lot in the same way. Weird thing is that it doesn't seem like you actually lose points if you reach quit a race or quit a race during the race, which needs to be fixed. The impressions I've seen on the AI in Project Cars 2 are mixed. The weird thing is the AI can be really good if you manage to set the AI difficulty to match your skill. Problem is that nearly that's nearly impossible to do, at least on a consistent basis. They can be really fast on one track and really slow on another. Same goes for different cars and different track combinations. Kinda annoying, but if you do get it right, they really do behave and give you a pretty good race. I thought that iRacing had destroyed me and that I couldn't enjoy another racing game simulator. Yes, this is a simulator. Product Cars 2 is a simulator. But I fell in love with Product Cars 2. The immersion in this game is just something 
at least I haven't experienced before. And yeah, sure, it's not perfect, but on the other side, what game is? There are a little bit too much bugs in the game right now, to be honest, but here's for me hoping they will patch them away in the coming months, weeks maybe. But other than that, I really do see a bright future for Project Cars 2, and I can't wait until the real racing starts when the online championship starts. It, they added a feature that you can make your own online seasons and championships, which is a really neat feature. Um, and I will do league racing in this, which should be a blast as well. This game actually makes me want to go and get VR. That's something that uh, I haven't thought about before, but I am now. Either way, if I had to score this game, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Mainly because of the box. Uh, and maybe the AI. I haven't talked much about career mode in this video. I've tried it, it's just not my thing. So I, I can't really comment about that, but if it's the career mode you're looking for, you're probably better off buying Forza Motorsport 7 when it comes out. Um, but yeah, that was my review of Project Cars 2. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoy Project Cars 2. Please tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Um, in the coming weeks I will be uploading a lot more content on my YouTube. And yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon.